Hey. Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last episode we spent some time building this whole machinery system over here to turn the aluminium scrap. Just wanna check. Why don't you Did I forget to hook things up? Yep. Yeah, aluminium scrap metal into aluminium ingots and to make this next step easier I just over here split one of the things from the first where is it over here yeah this one here splits half from this one that's making 60 to half here so that it will be 450 and 360 because up here is going to be where we create these two things acid sheets and well, aluminium sheets sorry and casings with 15 oh that's an alternative yeah so 90 for 60 and then wait, let me see sorry let's see if I can get that uh, so if it's one third Okay, so this does make more. So I'll be using a whole bunch of assemblers. And each one needs copper. Luckily there's a copper node nearby. If I quickly just... You can probably... I think it's one of these. Yeah, it's that one. So I'm going to build a little... Oh, little underground area over here where we can build all and create all the copper and it's actually quite a good note pure because we need like 345 copper per minute and what I think I'm just going to do is I'm going to make it a 360 there we are so I don't have to work with they small stay. Ah, there we are. So I'm going to quickly build the copper area up there and then I'll catch back up with you guys. Let's get around. And it's complete. Oh, yeah. No thing just to like <laughs> toast it. <laughs> there we are. So using some of these big like, ceiling lights, I just lit up the place to make it look nicer. So you've got this underground little area, basically. So over here, the 360 bar gets split half to go to six machines or six smelters on each side. Then they get smelted and added up onto the spout here that goes into here. And I used this window that I had grabbed a little while ago just to make the area look a bit nicer. Now that that's complete, we can build up here. Let's see. Wait, is, is this good? Yeah. One I forgot about the output. Hmm. <coughs> Where is it? Simpler, there we are. Maybe like that. I think I can fit a merger here. Let's check. Uh, one over. Is 
something like that. Because <coughs> in three machines here, two, three, and these ones will be creating the, the casing, the aluminium casing. So then that bulk line will go here. Go for fifty. It's actually bolted over right now. Um, how do I want to do this? I mustn't forget I've got more bolts. Maybe something like. that bring it down and there okay might just change this bit later at while going there so that's that first bolt complete now for the next one it's 12 of machines I would need yeah. 12 because it's let me just show you my math ah wrong one Because it's 30 per minute, and if that is 36, then we need 12. Unless we, because I'm not sure how many we can fit here. Because we can always expand out that way if necessary. Might start it like in line with that one. So bit of space like that but then it's too close hmm. I think I might uh, I don't want to expand this too much because then it looks lopsided hmm. unless I no I, oh wait yeah so for this one I just but then it's too little space. I'm gonna let me plan it out and make stuff happen, then I'll catch up with you guys. And here it is, guys. All <laughs> these lovely machineries and that, and everything seems to be working. For the ones over here, we ran out of a bit of space, but luckily, using the wall mounts, I managed to just hook it up onto the side here does get a little bit crammed but uh, it's better than having to expand the factory a little bit and both of them come into here where they stored in here hmm, that's backed up already wow so I, I think there's only one thing we need to do guys decorate the factory can't just have this empty factory and I got a few things that can help us just little things to make stuff look quite nice just then where I uh, always open there open this one must be set to waist closed there we are yeah just go around add some windows some lights different heights I'm gonna build the factory and then you guys can see what it looks like so unfortunately I'm actually running out of time for this video didn't expect it to take so long and I going out 
for the weekend away to my damn house but this is what I've done so far so with the with the walls that are over here I do you want to just like add a paint on to make them look different from the floors I'm starting to bring most of them down so you, this side you might be able to see and extending in some places like then I'm gonna bring it out just side of the walkway I added these gates in by the door so automatic and actually open that side then above the train rails there's some flooring to look down lights are going to be put everywhere this one walls are going to be two or three higher I think I might just make it two higher to give this a bit more space and here's just a general idea it's a small scale but what all of them will look like with the roof on top and that over there so yeah So you guys, if I hop down here and open, you get the eye, you can see what I mean. So all of these walls are, have been brought down to kind of show it as a foundation. Yeah, in between episodes I'll finish up in that, then next episode we'll get started on the uh, prison factory, Chris, the Fixmas factory. Damn spiders! Even a gun can't kill them. <laughs> ah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye now.